Hello everyone. Today I'm going to tell you something about birds. Those who are joining later, welcome to my channel that is Chakos Tutorial. Today we are going to learn about birds. Now birds, all of you have seen. You are seen as crow, you are seen as sparrow, you are seen a parrot, you are seen a peacock. So different types of birds we all have seen. Birds live on land, they live on trees, shrubs, they even live in water. Right? So different birds, they have different habitat, they live in different places. So here we will learn about the body parts of a bird. Now what the body parts of the birds, let's see the parts here. The birds, they have two wings. You can see the wing. Two wings they have. Then they have two eyes, one right side and one left side. Then they have two ears. But the ears of the bird is not external. There is a spot just behind the eye, both the side. That is the ear through which birds are able to hear. Then they have the beak with which they can breathe also. They eat also with their beak, right? And then they have a tail with a lot of feathers there. Then they have two legs and on the legs they will have claws. Right? These are the body part of a bird. Wing, eye, ear, beak, tail, leg. A normal bird will have all these parts. Right? So when you come to the bird, the wings. Let's take the wings first. Wings itself, if you take the wings, you will find there are three different types of wings onto the bird. Right? There are three different types of wings. First is known as body feathers. Body feathers. Body feathers you find on the body of the bird which gives shape to the body of the bird. This body feathers give shape to the body of the bird you find all over the body. Then you have down feathers. Down feathers. Now down feathers you find at the down bottom here you find this area which keeps the bird's body warm. The function of this down feathers is it keeps the bird's body warm. Then we have the flight feathers. Then we have the flight feathers. Now flight feathers you find on the wings as well as the tail which helps the bird to fly. The feathers onto the wing and the tail is known as flight feathers which helps the bird to fly. Now how do a bird fly? See first thing is the bird fly with the help of wings we said. Now this Wings help them to fly, but their body is light because their bones are hollow. The bones of the birds are hollow, so which make the bird light so they can take off. Then they flap their wings up and down so they are able to take off in the 
forward direction. First, they flap it up, then down. So, then they are able to take off to the forward direction. Even the legs help in flying because they have to run a little and take off. Okay, that is how they fly. The birds fly like that. Right? Next, we have the beaks of birds. Beaks. See. Beaks of birds. Every bird has beaks. Now, different birds have different types of beaks. So, why do they have different types of beaks? Because it is according to the food they eat. Different birds eat different types of food. So, their beaks are modified accordingly. And on the beak, there are both the sides, there are small holes through which the birds breathe. And they can also breathe by opening the beaks. Now, different birds have different types of beak according to the food they eat. Right? A few examples I can show you here. Now, see. This is the beak of a hummingbird, the smallest bird we find, hummingbirds, and they suck nectar from the flowers. So, their beaks are long and strong like beak. Straw means where you take cool rings with a straw. Same way, see the length of the beak, it is like that, so that they can put their beak into the flower and suck the nectar. So, their food is nectar then you find another example pigeons now pigeons they mainly eat seeds what do they eat they eat seeds so they have small and short beak see the beak they have small and short beak then we have parrots then we have parrots now, parrots also you have seen green in color and the beak may not have a very clear here picture. So, what do they eat? They eat fruits and seeds. You might have seen them eating different types of fruits and seeds, then chilies. So, they have strong and curved beak. Some of these parrots come into my garden to eat the fruits I have. I have goa. So, they eat that. So, different birds come in. Even the hummingbird comes into my garden to take the nectar from flowers because I have a lot of flowers in my garden. So, they come. Every morning we see them. Right? So, that is about parrot. It has called strong and curved beak. Then you have sparrows. Sparrows, these days it is not seen much. But a few I have seen around here. See, they have small and short beak. Sparrows have small and short beak because they eat seeds, tender plants and insects. What do they eat? Seeds, tender plants and insects. That is sparrows. Then you have ducks. Duck is a water bird. We, you find broad and flat beak. See this? Broad and flat beak. What do they eat? They eat worms and plants. Even small fish they eat. Eat worms and plants. So they have broad and flat beak. Then there is a bird called Taucans. See it's a quite big beak and you find this bird in the rainforest and they have broad, strong and long beak. Because they eat fruits. They pluck fruits of the trees in the forest. That's why they have a broad and strong long beak. Then another example is pelicans. Now the food of pelicans are fish. They eat fish. So they have broad long pointed beak with a pouch. They have a pouch here. And broad and long pointed, see broad and pointed beak. So they eat fish. 
Then you have eagles. Eagles, their food is they eat mice, rabbits, and snakes. So they have straw, sharp and hooked beak. See, it is bending like this, very strong and sharp, and it is hooked so that they can peck onto the prey and eat them. Then you have one more example I have that is peacocks. Peacocks eat garden lizards, frogs, leaves and seeds. So they have sharp, strong and pointed beak. See this is the beak of a peacock. So they have sharp, strong and pointed beak. Right? So that is about the beak of the birds. Hope you understood this. Now we have the feet of birds. Feet. Feet of birds. The feet of the birds also adjusted in such a way to uh, maybe sitting onto the branches of the trees or else to cast their prey. Few examples when I show you, you will understand. Here is a close of a perching bird. Perching means the bird which can grip onto the branches of the tree. Like parrot is a perching bird. It can sit onto the branch and it can grip with its claws onto the branch of a tree and keep on moving to take the fruit of the plant and all that. So this is the a bird called perching birds, they use their claws to grip onto the trees. Right? Then we have water bird. For example, a duck. It has a webbed feet of a duck. This is a webbed feet of a duck. It has a webbed feet. Web means the toes are joined together like this, like a uh, shoes or something. It is padded like that so that they can swim in the water. Right? They are able to swim in the water. So that is the feet of a duck. Then you have a feet of a an eagle. Eagle, vulture, all this same type of feet you will find is very strong and is pointed and very tough. The bending that close you find. So it is very strong like that. So this clause of the eagle is known as eagle or vulture is known as talons. What is it known as? Talons. Talons of a hawk. Here is a hawk. So it is very strong and pointed. Why? What is the advantage of this? They are able to cast their prey between their toes and they are able to fly. Here they will hold the prey, maybe a chick, something like that. And they will be able to fly with those prey. So this claws of the hawk is known as talons, right? Then we have a toes of a crane. Toes of a crane. Crane has got a uh, long and slender leg because it can go in the soft mud and water. So it catches worms and fish, small fishes and all it eats. Right? So, that is the feet of a crane. Then you have the feet of an ostrich. Ostrich is a running bird. It cannot fly because its body is very heavy. Feathers are small, body is very heavy. And ostrich, the feet, if you see the toes of the ostrich, it is reduced to two. Normally a bird has four toes so or four claws we can say so here the toes are reduced to two so that it can run fast this is a toe of an ostrich so these are the modification of the feet of an feet of uh, birds modification of the feet of birds different modification you saw perching then water birds for verb feet then the talons of the hawk then uh, the cranes long and slender slender leg then the ostrich 
tall button with the two toes which can, which it can help you to run very fast okay that is about the feet of the birds now let's le learn about the nests of the birds nests of the birds right nest of the birds different birds make different type of nest some birds make their nest on the trees some make on the shrubs some makes on the land right so different birds makes different types of nests and what is the use of the nest the use of the nest is that the birds make the nest then lay their eggs there the birds a few birds nests are here the birds make their nest and lay their eggs in the nest and after a few days the eggs hatches and the baby bird comes out and the parent birds protect the birds bring food for them till they are able to fly so main function of this main use of the nest is to lay eggs and of course the nest protect the birds from their enemies and the bad weather condition also enemies it protects them from the enemies and the bad weather condition few examples there is a tailor bird's nest a weaver bird's nest a crow's nest and owl's nest a tailor bird a tailor bird makes its nest by stitching i can show you a better one uh, is a weaver bird and a cross nest is here of course the tailor bird here you can see the tailor bird the tailor bird makes the nest by stitching the claws like a tailor it takes the leaves and stitches and make the nest and the weaver bird weaves its nest of course crows make their nest with the twigs and leaves and all kind of things and owls make their nest in the uh, holes of the trees and all that so to protect themselves so here little bigger picture i have shown just two i have taken out a weaver bird's nest is here a crow's nest is here right so this is your chapter about about the birds so i told you about the body parts of a bird beaks of the bird how do they fly about their feathers and their feet of the birds and the nest of the birds hope everything is clear to everyone thank you very much for watching this video take care and be safe at home